Leslie Waters and I've joined up with SMA Nutrition to show you how to cook up some great family meals for your toddler. And with me is nutritionist Anne, who will be at hand to give us lots of advice. And I'm a mum of two myself, so I've got lots of questions. And over there, we have our toddler tasting panel. Let's hope they like what we cook. Right, well I know how vital it is to get vegetables into mm -hmm. a toddler's diet and this is a really great way that I'm going to show you because uh -huh. you can hide the vegetables in the delicious creamy cheesy risotto. And this is called broccoli and cheese one pot risotto and for this you need 300 mils of chicken stock, 55 grams of broccoli, 55 grams of frozen peas, 7 grams of butter, 25 grams of mature cheddar cheese, 55 grams of risotto rice, 300 mils of whole cow's milk, one small onion chopped, and 55 grams of cooked boneless chicken breast diced. So this is all cooked in one pot, Anne. So Sounds if you good. put the butter in, first yes. of all, and then I'm gonna bring over this whole tray of ingredients, okay? First thing we need to get in there is I want to throw the onions mm -hmm. in. And all you're gonna do here is you're gonna soften them off. Okay. Now, I love risottos because it's really a great meal in one pot. And we've pretty much got all the food groups in there, really, haven't we? We have, yes. We've got the chicken, protein, we've mm -hmm. got the veg, we've got the rice, the carbohydrates. Yep. Okay, so sprinkle the rice in. in. Yep. And give that a really good stir. And now I'm going to add the broccoli. Now, yeah. we haven't cooked the broccoli no. ahead of time, which is better, isn't it? Yeah, you capture all the nutrients in, in the recipe then. And then I'm going to mix the stock and the milk together. If you're making it for the family, I would say keep the stock simmering away. Because when you make a risotto, you don't add all the liquid at once. In it goes. And give that a really good stir. Mm -hmm. They say traditionally that you should stir a risotto from start to finish. Well, get a life. We all live busy lives. Give it a good stir occasionally and don't add all the liquid at once. Add a bit and then wait for the rice to absorb it and then add a, add a little bit more. And it's a, a great meal for toddlers, but it's also a great meal for family. Yeah, I'm going to try this at home. That's the best compliment you can <laughs> give me. <laughs> right. You can see, yeah. can't you, that the rice is absorbing the liquid. It's getting nice and thick now. Brilliant. Now, I know that recently SMA did some research, didn't they? That's right. And it really just highlighted that parents aren't that sure about what a balanced diet is for toddlers. Um, so, you know, the idea really is that to give three meals a day plus nutritious snacks in between. And sometimes a top up of a fortified milk is very helpful just to support the diet in that way. Okay. We've got nearly, pretty much, most of the liquid in, okay? So we're just going to let that simmer now for about seven to eight minutes and we'll just carry on adding the liquid until the rice is sort of all fluffed up and cooked. So the risotto is almost ready and I have to say it smells pretty good with my kitchen slave over there <laughs> stirring away. The final ingredients going in is the cooked chicken, the frozen peas, and a little bit of cheddar cheese just to finish off. So let's get those in. Make sure the chicken is absolutely cooked and diced. Yep, so the chicken's giving the toddler protein and it's a nice soft meat for them. Good. And some peas. And the final thing, just a little bit of cheddar cheese. Lovely, so the cheese gives the toddler calcium and protein. So. It's a very balanced meal. It is, and it's all in one pot. Not too much washing up, which is what I like. A meal in one pot. Fantastic. And that's so easy to make. Let's serve this up. Let's hope they like it over there. Okay, here we go. Pink plate. Pink plate. 
I think this is a hit. <laughs> Well, that's all from us. For more information and recipe ideas, go to smanutrition.co.uk.